how to calibrate a potentiometer using a voltmeter. This is Kisembo Academy. So in today's video, we are going to look at how we calibrate a voltmeter using an, a potentiometer. This is the voltmeter that we seek to calibrate. To start off with the experiment, definitely this is how our setup is going to look like. Our potentiometer circuit will be connected as usual with a variable resistor in the primary circuit. The primary circuit has a driver cell, a slide wire AB, which slide wire is connected to a secondary circuit that is having a cell whose that is cell that is standard, that is a standard cell. And of course, by standard cell, I mean that the EMF of this cell is known. We have this other portion of the of, of the circuit having a variable resistor P2 connected to a standard resistor. By standard resistor, I mean that the resistance of this resistor is known, and we are having a, a voltmeter connected across. We have switch S that can either be connected to position one or position two, and this is connected to a galvanometer. And of course, to protect this galvanometer from excess current, we connect this galvanometer in series with a protective resistor P, which can be bypassed by simply closing this switch K whenever necessary. So the first thing here is we are going to first standardize the cell. And afterwards, we'll go ahead and find the potential difference across this other portion of the circuit so that we're able to get the values we want that will enable us to get the calibration curve of the voltmeter. So to begin the experiment, first, uh, we are going to place switch S in position 1. We are going to place S in position 1 with switch K open. And then we shall slide this potentiometer wire across the slide wire until we reach a point whereby the galvanometer shows no deflection. When we attain the point whereby the galvanometer shows no deflection, we will then close this switch case so that we bypass this protective resistor. We bypass it and then we get the actual balance point while S is still at position 1. And of course, uh, after doing that, when you get the balance point, when K is closed and when S is on position 1, we know that the potential difference across that balance length we will have got will be equivalent or equal to the potential difference across this standard cell. And uh, by that will give us our first equation. And the first equation in this case is that the ES, which so happens to be that, uh, the PD across that cell, which so happens to be the EMF of that standard cell is going to be equal to the uh, uh, the, it's going to be equal to the potential difference across the portion of that wire length which so happens to be the PD per unit length of that wire multiply that by this the balance length we got LS and definitely K here is the PD per unit length so this first portion this first equation gives us the value of K the PD per unit length so this value of K we've got in this expression is supposed to give us we're supposed to, 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 to be able to substitute it in our next expression so we continue with the experiment. We now go ahead and connect switch S to position 2. We connect switch S to position 2 while K is first open. You know that when, we, when K is open, it means that the protective resistor is in series with the galvanometer. So when S is at position 2 while P is, when, when switch K is open, we will slide this potentiometer wire, this sliding jockey, along the slide wire AB up to a point whereby the galvanometer shows no deflection. When we, with that balance length we will have got at that point will be just the approximate balance length. So we get the accurate balance length by closing switch K. When we close switch K, we are bypassing the protective resistor. So the current coming in will bypass this resistor. And so it means that when switch K is now closed, when S is still at 2, we will again tap this jockey along the slide wire AB until we attain the accurate balance point and definitely the potential difference we will have gotten at the balance length will be equal to the potential difference across this standard resistor S and so we'll develop another expression and that expression will be VA which so happens to be the potential difference across that standard resistor S is going to be the PD per unit length times the balance length we will have got L. And of course, this value of K, which is the PD per unit length, is what we, we substituted in our first equation. This value of K, when we make K the subject of the formula, K becomes uh, ES over LS. 
So this, we substitute that in this second equation. So in this second equation, the value of k is what we put here and it is what we put right there. Va is right there, then L. Then of course, this is the expression for the PD across L. So we repeat this experiment for different readings of the voltmeter. By voltmeter, I'm talking about this voltmeter. We get different readings for this voltmeter. We repeat this experiment, of course. We get different readings for this voltmeter by adjusting or by regulating this P2. So the, the experiment is repeated for different readings of the voltmeter so that we are able to get different values of VA. So we tabulate our results and in our results we shall be getting the different readings of the voltmeter V and then we have a column for VA. We have also a column for the corresponding balance lengths that are corresponding to this VA we are getting. And then when we plot a graph of VA against V, we are able to get the calibration curve for the voltmeter. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Ksembo Academy, this is Anwar Rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.